but I didn't. I could have been there for her, but I wasn't. Katie is so sensitive. She can't even take a joke. Huh? She makes such a fool out of herself. What was she thinking? Who? Katie. Didn't you see her? Sort of. How could you miss it? I am seriously worried for that girl. Maybe she's having a bad day. You think? I did see what happened. So did I. I should have told Johnny to cut it out. I should have told Mrs. Smith. She's great to talk to and always falls through when students need help. I should have been a better friend. But I wasn't. And I should have. I know I could have, but I didn't do anything. It didn't end at school. When Katie got home, I heard. Johnny had posted something about her on Facebook. He just couldn't leave it alone. It was so humiliating. Everybody was talking about it. I thought Johnny's post wasn't right. I thought it was cruel. He didn't want to get out of bed, let alone go to school. She asked for it. What a jerk. She did nothing. Neither did we. And we should have. Could have. Done something. Anything. But we didn't. We just walked away. Went, Went on, on with, with our, our lives. lives. Pretended it wasn't happening. Was glad it wasn't happening to us. The next day, Katie didn't come to school. I couldn't face them. A lot of kids, pressured by Samantha, started posting to Johnny's wall. I couldn't believe what they said. Felt so alone. Really mean stuff like right? You wouldn't believe. How cruel. No one did anything to help. No one. It went on and on. No one, I mean no one did anything. Why didn't I text her? Why didn't I call her? Why didn't I? Why? She was so uptight. She was so alone. She was so sensitive. She was so sensitive. No one did anything, and everyone knew. Johnny's Facebook page, I admit I looked at it. I did too. I couldn't believe it. Katie wasn't anorexic. I was desperate. Why didn't I do something? Why didn't I tell someone? Why didn't I help her? Why didn't I? Why? Why?